What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in on this Monday afternoon, January 11th, 2021. It's a date, 2.04 p.m. West Coast time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we got a pretty good size earthquake striking uh, right around the uh, Mongolia region there. 6.8 magnitude quake striking out there. We'll go ahead and check out the latest information there from the USGS on the flat scale Earth model here. You can see that red circle indicating the most recent quake and also the large quake there in question, a 6.8 magnitude quake there in the Mongolia region. Right around the, uh, what lake is that? That's kind of a, ooh, right underneath the lake. 10 kilometers, no doubt, potential for uh, um, some, some waves to be created there on that lake. Looking at the estimates here, 1020, it's a pretty good sized lake. I'm not for sure if it's full this time of year or if it's completely frozen. It is uh, winter time up around there, so more than likely it's possibly uh, could be frozen. I don't know a whole bunch about this area, but nonetheless, definitely a good size earthquake. There's 6.8 orange on the pager, uh, or far as the uh, did you fill up the reports, uh, green to yellow on the pager, esti estimated economic losses and the estimated fatalities there. Uh, it has been reviewed by the USGS. I'm not for sure the population density, but it looks like a few folks have felt it. 6.8 at that shallow of a depth will definitely be felt by many, um, and that's far away as well. Uh, checking out any reports within that region there. Uh, looks like, you know, sparsely reported there, but uh, um, definitely uh, looks like uh, it was felt, no doubt, over a certain, certain area, certain region. Going back to the overview real quick. Um, let's see what we've got here for regional information. As far as past historical earthquake activity from the USGS, um, not in a super high uh, concentrated region of uh, earthquake activity. You can see some of these white dots indicating past historical earthquakes there. Looks like there may have been smaller ones uh, around the lake in the vicinity of that area, but this one, pretty smack dab. i tell you what, if this lake is not frozen, uh, there'd definitely be some waves potentially created on that um, with that earthquake right there. What else we got? It's been reviewed 10 kilometers below sur surface. Uh, specific fault structure, fault movement over here. Uh, shows the dip, strike, the rake, all of that stuff right here in this um, report there but not going to go into details on that specific um, information there so this comes after a pretty extensive period of six pointers in this region of the world up through uh, um, Solomon Islands, Fiji Islands in the Indonesia area all seen 6.0 earthquakes and at a very deep level below the ground uh, we're talking about five, six hundred kilometers there for some of those earthquakes that took place over the last couple of days. Uh, we did see a deeper movement up here, 4.9 off the uh, coast there. That's pretty deep as well. Um, so, I mean, look at this. There's another one by Japan, 519 kilometers. Pretty deep. So, obviously, some plate tectonic action in full swing here. And it uh, looks like that pressure has no doubt increased up here to the north at a surface level here in the Mongolia region. Turk, Turt, if that's how you pronounce that, hopefully, right? I'm not for sure if you can pronounce that any other way. Turt, Mongolia. 6.8 earthquake, folks. Have a good day. We will be back a little bit later with a full complete update video. In the meantime, stay safe and uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.